Hey everybody, Ben with Classic Firearms here. I wanted to show you today our Catamount Lynx shotgun. We've done a brief introductory video on these once before when they came into the warehouse, but we're here at Take Aim Training Range today, and you really can't tell as much about these as you need to unless you see them under live fire. So we thought we would highlight them again. It's a beautiful, well-made Turkish shotgun, all kind of features. It has a scope rail here, something unique to this shotgun is it does have a three dot sight system the rear sights are built into the rail and it ends up on the front with a fiber optic sight you also have a very nice muzzle brake and flash reducer here at the end it's a spring assisted pump action so you can actually turn it loose at the rear it makes it very quick and it cycles very much like a benelli it's got a recoil reducing shoulder pad on the stock, ergonomic pistol grip, and once again, just a very, very nice high-end pump shotgun. And frankly, probably the best bang for the buck of any shotgun out there on the market. Eric, can you still see me okay here? This shotgun is chambered for both two and three quarter and three inch shells. We have a variety of shells here today all different brands and shot type. We've even got some slugs. As you can see, solid one ounce lead slug. Double off buck shot, number four shot, number six shot, number eight bird shot. We're gonna load some of these up. We're gonna put them down range and let you see how they fire. So Eric, just stay with me. We're gonna end with a number eight. And let's see, let's go a, probably about a number four there, that's what it was. Number six. Let's see here, we'll start off with the slug. Once this puts a big hole, we'll shoot all these shot around it. And... We'll follow that up with a buckshot. If I did that in the right order, we'll be able to put some range, uh, some loads down range, and we're going to take a little break, set the cameras up different. When we come back, live fire with the Catamount Lynx. All right, we're gauge. back with the Catamount Lynx. Loaded up. We're going to fire a slug first, then followed by buckshot, and then some different variations: number six, number four, number eight. Uh, ears in. We're going to be firing into some ammo cases today just because we have plenty of them laying around the shop. A warning, do not do this with your ammo case if it's live, if it's full of live rounds. Uh, probably would not be good. Here we go. Safety off. Range is hot. Catamount Link shotgun. That first three inch slug kind of rocked my world a little bit, but boy, that was fun. We may just load up and do it again. We're having so much fun, we decided to do it again. I love the way this weapon feeds and chambers rounds. It is so smooth. It does it on its own. That was five. This makes six full capacity. Eric, is that camera running? All right, very good. One more time from the hip, here we go. Woo, that's fun. Got them out links, www.classicfirearms.com. That's a wrap. Hello, friends. If you're viewing this, you've just watched our live fire video featuring the Catamount Lynx. 
in this bonus footage, I want to tell you a little bit about the making of that video and also some conclusions that I've come to after making that video. The first conclusion is this. Uh, it is embarrassing to show fear on video. And you saw me do just that when I pulled the trigger on that three inch slug uh, through the catamount for the first time. Let me explain that a little bit. We don't carry shotgun ammunition here at Classic. We don't sell it. We didn't want to make a trip to Walmart. So we dug through drawers and I went through the closet at home and found an old shotgun belt that was full of ammunition, including that three inch slug. Uh, I knew that that belt had been hanging in a closet for almost 20 years and no telling how old that slug was. And I also knew that ammunition tends to get hotter as it gets older. If you've got an old round, chances are that it can be very hot when you pull the trigger. Having never fired a slug out of the catamount, I had confidence in the weapon, but I didn't have that much confidence in the weapon. I did not know what it would do. But I put on a game face and fired the slug. You'll see when it fires, I actually removed my left hand from the weapon. Uh, I think it was a subconscious attempt to run should the thing blow up in my hands. But actually the weapon performed beautifully. I fired another old buckshot load behind it. It had quite a blast. It was three inch double alt buckshot. You can see from the smoke and everything that clears after that round that it was a very powerful round. But uh, anyway, we got through it. I don't recommend that to you folks at home. If you don't have confidence in your ammunition, throw it away, get rid of it, get some good stuff. But it did prove the weapon. After we stopped rolling, uh, we had a little bit of that ammo left, including some of the old ammo that was still in that old ammo belt that I was telling you about. Uh, Eric, my cameraman, and I decided just to shoot up the rest of that ammo and be done with it. We were having so much fun that day on the range. It was cold. Uh, you see me shaking out there a little bit. If you see him in the video footage, uh, he's actually in a heavy coat and gloves and toboggan. Thanks a lot, Eric. I had to be on camera and can't shoot very well with the coat on. But at any rate, having said that, we went out there and fired up the rest of that ammo. We had a few more slugs, they all fired great. We had some more buckshot, it all performed flawlessly. And I started thinking, not only is this a great tactical shotgun, but it was so multi-purpose with all those different ammos that I think it would make an excellent deer rifle. It fired the slugs very accurately, exactly where I was pointing, just like a rifle. You know, within 50 or 60 yards, it did great. It also fired the buckshot well. And because of your rail here, it's very easy to set up with either a reflex sight or a scope or something of that nature. And we wanna show you how you can adapt some of that stuff to this shotgun and make it the ideal home defense slash turkey slash big buck deer hunting uh, tactical shotgun. Let's start with our electro sight. This is an electro four dot, so you have four different aperture or dock capabilities. A reflex sight, this one is made by NC Star. We've sold a lot of these, they're at a great price point, we have a lot of confidence in them. Because of the built-in rail here, as you see it can drop right on. Let me grab my alum wrench. few turns of the wrench, front and back, and it's mounted, very secure, ready to fire, it's quick acquisition, you can fire with both eyes open, all of this works great. Excellent. Excellent sight picture there. Not only that, but because there's a groove in the rail itself, you can still drop your head down and see your open sights if you want to go to that. Very nice option for the shotgun with the rail. The NC Star Electro Reflex Sight. Give some thought to that. And for those of you who want to scope up your shotgun, we're going to drop a scope on here. Just let you see how it looks. Now, we do not carry shotgun scopes, at least not yet here at Classic. We may look into taking some on. This is a rifle scope I'm going to be putting on this weapon. 
just for demonstration purposes, just so you'll know, we never recommend a rifle scope for a shotgun. Shotguns recoil differently than rifles and it tends to damage the optic in rifle scopes. So if you want to uh, scope up a shotgun, go to Walmart, Big Sporting Goods, Gander Mountain, get a shotgun scope specifically made for a shotgun. It's worth the investment. But we want to show you how one of these will mount up very quickly and how it looks on the catamount. I didn't put all four screws in each one of these. I just put two for demonstration purposes. Still holds it good and snug for these purposes. Beautiful scoped up shotgun. Take a look at that. Looks good at the shoulder. I got it on a little crooked. Now we're straight. It will be ready for final tight, tight down. But a uh, great looking shotgun with a scope. Looks great with a reflex. Looks great by itself. If you think I'm spending a lot of time promoting these shotguns, you're absolutely right. There's a reason for that. We got a buyout on these shotguns, got a fantastic price, so we can offer them at a fantastic price. We're consistently running the shotgun at under $200. To me, this is a $400, $500 shotgun easily. I've seen how it performs. It'll run the gamut as far as purposes that you need a shotgun for. Uh, I think everybody needs one of these. I hardly ever buy anything for myself, but I did get myself one of these. I proudly own it, proudly endorse it. Find out more about it, as always, at www.classicfirearms.com.